everybody and welcome to High School Boys Basketball on DouglasCountyDigest.com. Tonight we are in Villa Grove for a little Ocaw Valley Conference matchup between Martinsville and Villa Grove. Chris Patton, Luke Johnson, and Luke, uh, we're getting ready to tip it off here between two schools that don't have the best records on the year, but uh, Villa Grove picked up a little momentum, uh, winning two games over higher ranked teams in the LOVC tournament. Yeah, they, uh, they improved a lot going through that LOVC tournament, playing a, a bunch of games in just a couple days. Uh, it uh, brings some teams together and uh, helps you work out your differences. Right time of year to be winning games in a tournament, too, as we get closer to the uh, February starts today. Uh, this game, first game of February, and then uh, as we work towards regional action. Villa Grove wins the tip, and they have it in their end of the court. Going to move the ball around a little bit. We'll get to their starters here as soon as we can. Lucas Vandenvinter, he's one of those starters at a guard, feeds it into the post, kicked outside, and put up for a long shot, then a rebound put up. I'm gonna go to the free throw line is Villa Grove here early in the early in the contest. Foul number 41, Jake Vincent, his first. Team Jake first Vincent with the foul for Martinsville will get those starters as well. Noah Palmer, the junior forward, gonna go to the free throw line for two shots. Misses the first one in and out. Still scoreless, 7.27 left to go in the first quarter. Second free throw, once again, rims around, no good. Here comes Martinsville now with their first possession of the contest. Martinsville, not a, uh, not a lot of guys here in the lineup, but they do have, out of seven guys that made the trip, they have five, uh, their five starters are all seniors. And right there, Zach Mulkins, number 11, a senior forward, takes it in for two points. Martinsville takes a 2 nothing lead. Nothing fancy there for Martinsville. Villagrove has it now, setting back up. Austin Hubbard had it. He gives it to Lucas Vandenvinter, going to get a drive from Palmer. Noah Palmer off the mark, puts up a rebound off the mark once again. Hustle to get a rebound, almost taken away there. Villagrove uh, getting after it, trying to keep Martinsville from clearing it down to their end. But Martinsville ends up getting it across the timeline. Mulkins with it again, going to drive to the basket, puts it up once again. Zach Mulkins getting into the lane pretty easily. Yeah, we've already seen who Martinsville's uh, leading scorer is right there. And Villagrove now, Lucas Vandeventer out top. Lucas Vandeventer, Noah Palmer, Tyler Harrison, Austin Hubbard, and Gabe Palmer are our starters for Villagrove. Trying to play catch up here in the early going. Gabe Palmer with it in the lane. He drives in, puts up a shot, no good, rebounded. And after a dribble, put right back up, too hard. Another rebound, a shot is waved off though. We'll get a foul on the ground. Now right now, Villa Grove's uh, trying to use their size. They're really patient around the perimeter, uh, working it down low on some dribble drives. And uh, Martinsville's just going to their, their go-to guy right now. Villa Grove got to stop, start making some of those uh, possessions they get, those shots they take after the offensive rebounds. They've had plenty of looks inside, just can't get them to go down. That foul for Martinsville is on Tyler Elliott, number 15. Three ball put up, no good. Tipped away, though, going to be corralled by Martinsville. Mulkins will bring it down once again. We'll see if he gets back into the lane. And uh, this time, though, he's going from deep. He air balls a three-pointer, going to go out of bounds. Villa Grove ball. Quick shot there. Probably uh, not the greatest, greatest looking shot. He's a couple feet behind the three-point line. That was a long one. He's been so successful getting that ball into the lane and scoring in there that that was a... Uh, not what we've seen in the early going. Feed in once again, does Villa Grove, gets it in to Noah Palmer, kicks it back out. Austin Hubbard with it. Now Villa Grove working the ball around. Shot put up from the baseline, no good. There's another offensive rebound for Villa Grove. Clearing space, making his way in and out. Gabe Palmer puts it up. The senior forward has Villa Grove's first two points, four to two Martinsville. Drive to the basket out of control for Malkins. Shot goes over the rim, maybe touches off the backboard. Villa Grove gets it now. Lucas Vandeventer pushes it into the corner and gives it to Gabe Palmer. Driving through the lane, feed knocked away, almost tipped back and taken away by Austin Hubbard. Martinsville gets it ahead and layup no good, but gonna go to the free throw line is Zach Malkins. And uh, Villa Grove's trying to use their size down here on the offensive end. I think it's, from what looks to me, it's almost looking like they're uh, throwing themselves out of rhythm by going to the post or um, dribble driving 
every possession they've had so far. There's a, it's almost like they're forcing the issue down low. Whereas Martinsville's just gone to their, uh, just gone to one guy so far. He's pretty much done it all for Martinsville. Gilbert Nieto into the game for Villa Grove, and Mulkins misses his first free throw. Second one up, and no good. Rebounded by Martinsville, though, right back to Mulkins. Layup good. I think that was Jake. Jake Vincent get that one back. 41, yeah. 41, the senior, Jake Vincent. Center for Martinsville gets his first two points. Six to two, Martinsville lead. In the paint once again, this time passed out. A jumper bounces up, then goes down for Austin Hubbard, 6-4 Martinsville. Right back down the floor comes Martinsville, blocked, knocked away by Villa Grove. Lucas Vandeventer had it, Noah Palmer brought it away, kicked it back to Vandeventer, and Hubbard has it now. Fed it up to that elbow. We hear the uh, call of spacing yelled out from Villa Grove head coach Brian Russell. His guys were getting a little cramped up there, right underneath the arc. Feed into the lane once again, kick right back out, thought about a three-pointer. And Noel Palmer gives it over to Vandeventer, who will take it, and almost goes in, goes down, and comes right back out. Lucas Vandeventer, pretty sharp from out there, and uh, can't get that one to fall, though. We've, we've seen games in the past where he has trouble starting out. He doesn't get aggressive until the end of the game. Uh, he's actually taking a few shots here in the early going, which is different for him trying to get, be aggressive early on. Martinsville shot no good. Vandeventer gets the rebound. You're exactly right, Luke. That's We've seen a couple games where Villagrove takes over in the third quarter. Basket by Gabe Palmer. He's got four. We're tied up at six. 3.23 left to go in the first. Martinsville looking, and Mulkin's going to take it. Spin move, puts up a shot. No good. And we're going to get out of bounds off Villagrove. Going to stay with Martinsville. Thought we might have get might have gotten an over the back call. Martinsville right now, though, is going to call a timeout. Full timeout, Martinsville. I thought uh, Zach Mulkins may have traveled on that spin move a little bit. Uh, a few too many steps there going around the defender. Kind of got caught sandwiched in between two of them. 3.12 left to go here in the first quarter. We're tied at six between the Martinsville Blue Streaks and the Villa Grove Blue Devils. Starters for Martinsville tonight. We've already mentioned uh, their names a few times, uh, but we haven't given the whole list. Uh, number three, senior guard Chris Lee. Number 11, senior forward Zach Mulkins. Number 15, senior forward Tyler Elliott. Uh, number 20, senior forward Eli Stevens. And number 41, senior center Jacob Vincent. So uh, Martinsville, yeah. nine guys on the roster, seven guys dressed tonight, and five of them starting are seniors. And you got to think that uh, fatigue's going to eventually come into effect here. Although Villa, Villa Grove hasn't really run out too much. They've got that one fast break layup off of a rebound. And other than that, Villa Grove is uh, extremely patient tonight, working the ball around the perimeter, getting it down low, trying to take advantage of their size. I haven't seen a lot of fast breaks yet from Villa Grove. We'll see how things develop over the rest of the course of this ball game. Villa Grove coached by Brian Russell, assisted by Trent Simpson. Martinsville head coach Justin Parcell, assistant coach Joey Parcell. Martinsville with it now. Mulkins has it, looks to go towards the lane, kicks it right back out to Chris Lee. Lee gives it back to Mulkins. Mulkins is going to go, gets it stripped away a little bit, but he's able to recover and thinks about going to the basket, feeds it in the lane, throws it away. It's knocked away and taken by Austin Hubbard. Drives down, layup good. Austin Hubbard has four. Villa Grove has eight. They've got their first lead of the ball game at 8 6. Lee has it, kicks it on the wing to 15. Tyler Elliott. And we're going to get a foul called from across the court. It's going to be an offensive foul on Villa Grove, or on Martinsville, excuse me. It will be Villa Grove's ball. Now, I think Martinsville needs to find another weapon besides Mulkin. They're, uh, you can definitely tell there it, it goes through him. It goes through Mulkin to initiate the offense to get something going. But uh, Villa Grove just has too many guys out there that can defend. They need to be able to to uh, swing it around to somebody else. And Martinsville has appeared to have figured out Villa Grove wants to go in the post. They had really collapsed on that and really took away that entry pass. And they take it down the floor. Lee puts up a shot. Good. Chris Lee with his first basket of the night. We're tied at 8. 2.12 left to go in the first. Gilbert Nieto going to drive along the baseline. Floats a little pass up. Kicked around. Shot put up and no good. Rebound going to be controlled by Mulkins of Martinsville. Until he loses it. Nieto almost had it. Martinsville has it again. Tyler Elliott gives it in the lane, dishes it off to his teammate, number 41, Jacob Vincent. He gets fouled on the shot. 
Good, good hustle by Nieto there at half court, trying to get the steal. Just uh, bounced the wrong way for him. Foul goes against Noah Palmer, his first, Villagrove's second. At the free throw line for two shots is Jacob Vincent. First one's good. Vincent has three points on the night, nine to eight. Martinsville back on top. Second one good as well. 10-8, Martinsville up by two over Villagrove. Van Eventer going to set things up, driving to his right, picks up his dribble, looks for a teammate, finds Noah Palmer. Noah finds Gabe Palmer into the post, turn around, shot put up, good. Gabe Palmer cleared a little space and got a sixth point. We're tied at 10. Well, it was a, a delayed reaction there by the Martinsville defender. He kind of got hit and then didn't know whether he wanted to fall over or stay up. A foul on Villa Grove, uh, trying to deny that pass in to Mulkins. Gilbert Nieto, his first. Gilbert Nieto, number 23, the freshman for Villa Grove, his first team's third. Teams are even at three fouls apiece. Thrown in under the basket, shot put up and good. Jacob Vincent. He's got six, 12 to 10. Martinsville leads a minute and 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter here from Villa Grove. Nieto dribbles around the defender, feeds it in once the defenders leave, and uh, nice nifty pass in there by Villa Grove. Shot doesn't go down though, point blank range, range for Noah Palmer. Got to convert those opportunities. Yeah, that was, a, that was a gimme. He needs to finish those. Nice job getting the ball to him. Looks like uh, Mulkins came up from long again, came up short, did get tapped a little bit on the arm, tried to draw something extra off of that. No dice, said the referee. Villa Grove's going to get it. Villa Grove feeds it back in and kick it out top for a second. Gabe Palmer has it. Nieto has it in the post. He's defended tightly, gives it over to Hubbard. Jumper from the elbow rattles in and out. I think Villa Grove will be glad when they get to switch ends. They've had some shots that went everywhere but down. Yeah. A lot, a lot of rattlers. From close range, too. Nieto going to drive, kick it back out. Cross court pass goes over the defense. And we hear the screams of movement from Villa Grove's Brian Russell letting his team know what they need to do. We're running down on time here. Uh, five seconds left to go here in the first. Let's see if Villa Grove can get a shot up. Vandeventer's going to have a chance. He puts it up. No good. After one quarter of play, Martinsville leads Villa Grove 12 to 10 on high school boys basketball on DouglasCountyDigest.com. 